All right, what is up YouTube? Back here with another video. To start this day off, we have breakfast, which you guys have seen so much from me. We have two packs of Kodiak oatmeal. with It's basically protein oatmeal. Two bagels with a little bit of cream cheese and then three eggs. You can see that one got popped a little bit. I like to have like five eggs. That's normally what I eat, but we only had three eggs left, so I just finished that off. But um, yeah guys, you guys have seen that so many times, like the same breakfast over and over again for me. And you guys have seen that breakfast for me so many times. And that's because whenever you eat the same thing every day, it's gonna make tracking your macros, staying on your diet 100% easier. Oh my God. And you guys have seen that meal for me for breakfast so many times and that's because whenever you eat pretty much the same thing every day, it makes tracking your macros and staying on your diet 100 times easier. But yeah guys, I'm gonna eat this up and then chill for a little bit and then get ready for school. So yeah. Alright guys, so I'm about to head to school. I finished eating and I just chilled for like an hour. So now we're gonna head to school. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little cold start on the RT. Um, Everything is bone stock on the car, but there is like some, I think there's an aftermarket um, mid muffler on the RT because we looked at it and it looked like aftermarket. I'm not like a car guru or anything, so I don't know too much about cars, but um, me and my dad looked at it and we're pretty sure that's like the only thing that's been added to it. And the whole thing is debadged too, um, so I might get like some badges for Amazon or something, or I might just keep it debadged, you know, but um yeah, we'll see, but let's go. Give it a start. Yeah, so guys, let me know if you think I should get any mods on the car, and if so, what mods? Um, I haven't done anything at all to the car. I've only had it though for like a little over a month now, so I kind of just want to enjoy it just like how it is so far. Maybe along the road, I'll get some mods and stuff to it. But um, yeah, comment down below what you guys think I should do to it. Um, but yeah, enough of that. Let's just drive to school. All right, guys. So just finished up with school. Um, it's only the second day of school, so we didn't like do anything like too hard or crazy or anything like that. We're still kind of like, I don't, I don't know, like getting introduced and stuff like that. But um, yeah, just finished up with school. I just finished up my parking spot. I'll put up a picture on my parking spot. I think it's pretty cool. But um, yeah guys, I'm gonna head home, do my Olympic lift, and then my friends are gonna come over to my house. We have to do some like Spear Boy stuff and make like a skit and everything for the pep rally. And then after that, I'm gonna go with my heavy bench session. Really excited about that, it's my week four. So we're probably gonna be going pretty heavy. And then I'm gonna teach you guys on how to grow huge Delts. So, yeah, let's go. Alright, guys, so I'm in the garage about to hit my Olympic lift. Today we only have jerks, so a really easy day. Um, I'm not gonna go too crazy on this because I have heavy bench later today, and you know, I'm using a lot of shoulders on jerks and everything like that, so let's not go too crazy on this. But, yeah, guys, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to grow huge delts. So let's go. Alright guys, this is 225, so let's see how it goes. Alright, so that didn't move too bad. Um, the worst part is just like re-racking it on my neck, bro, because I, I cannot breathe when I do that. But this workout is really, really easy. I just have four singles of 245. And then after, I'm going to teach you guys about growing your delts. So um, yeah, I'm going to finish this up, and I'll talk to you guys later. All right guys, so let's get to the point of the video on how to grow your delts. Now, as you guys might know, delts is one of the most important muscles for building an aesthetic physique. It really gives that V taper, everything looking aesthetic, nice, and um, I just so happen to have that as one of my strong points. Now, it's not to say that I like know all the secrets and everything, like of course, genetically, my shoulder genetics are a little bit, you know, better, but I still am knowledgeable about how I grew my delts and everything like that, and I hope I can help you guys and teach you guys on how to grow your delts. So, let's get into it. Alright, so I took my shirt off just to give you guys like a visual representation of the delts. So, 
there are three parts of your delt. You have your front delt, side delt, and then your rear delt. Now, um, I will say, one of the biggest things you can do to have your delts just stand out more and look bigger overall is having your rear delts. That's honestly one of my strong points, and it's not because I train them all the time, it's honestly just genetically a strong point, but if you guys start training it way more, it will grow, and I'm telling you, it's gonna make a huge difference in your entire physique. And then also to get that width, shoulder width, is gonna be these side delts. Also, another game changer. I train them 90% of the time when I'm ever, whenever I'm training delts, and it's honestly gives the filthiest pumps whenever I train them. And, um, and then the last one's gonna be your front delts. Honestly, you're probably using the front delts a lot whenever you're bench pressing or hitting chest or any incline movements. Me personally, I don't really train front delts that much. If so, maybe like just once a week, but that's pretty much it. I've just started kind of getting back into it because my coach put it in my program, and I feel like my front delt is kind of a weak point for me, so I'm gonna start training that a little more. All right, so I'm kind of gonna give you guys a visual representation of hitting each part of my delt and some of my favorite and most effective movements for growing your delt. All right, guys, so the first movement for your delts, we're gonna do the target the side delts, it's gonna be just basic dumbbell lateral raises. These are honestly the most used dumbbell movement that I do. And I love them so much, the pumps are always really, really crazy. And I think it's probably like one of the best, if not the best, delt exercises. And it's so basic, you guys all know it. But um, yeah, let's go into more movements. It's really simple, just go one arm at a time. Or if you have multiple cables, you can just do two at a time. Me personally, a lot, I like to do one at a time just so I can focus on that individual delt and then just go up like a regular side lateral raise. With this movement, try to keep the weight a little low and choose for volume. Keep tension on your delts and I promise you, you're going to get the sickest pumps. Those are just some basic side delt exercises. You can always add in some different kind of variations. Me personally, that's just what I like to do and I've seen lots of growth from. But with that being said, let's get into the rear delts. All right guys, so the next movement is gonna be bent over rear delt flies. It's really gonna get a nice burn on your rear delts. You wanna go with really lightweight, so you're not really using any low back or anything like that. And you're not gonna be swinging too much. Just bend over, pause, and then just go up like here. You can have a slight bend in your elbows, but make sure you just keep tension in that rear delt. That's just a really easy way if you only just have access to dumbbells. Another way you can do it is just get an incline bench, lay down the incline bench, and do like that to help support you. Um, also, another great movement for your rear delts is gonna be on a pec deck, and then just face a pec deck, then go outward like that. I don't have it in my gym right now, but that's another one of my favorites. And then now let's get into your front delts. So you're probably seeing these another basic one, but you're gonna get your dumbbells, and just going up like this, targeting that front delt, this isn't the best front delt exercise, but it's a really good finisher for your shoulder workouts and it's gonna give you a really good pump. And of course, it's still gonna hit your front delt, just not my personal favorite and I don't really do it that much. All right guys, so the next movement's gonna be really basic. You wanna get your incline bench, put it up not all the way vertical, but just slightly back, maybe at like a 70 degree angle. Get back here, make sure your elbows are in a 45 degree angle, and then just press. Simple overhead press. I love this. You're gonna have insane delt pump. All of these workouts are really, really good. This one's really gonna target not only your front delt, but all your entire delt. Mostly your front delt, but it will hit your entire delt, and I really love it. And you guys have to understand, it's really simple to grow any muscle. You guys have seen so many movements of bodybuilders doing it. Um, it's really just about your consistency and then your intensity in the gym. You have to be training hard, you have to be going there with an intent. If you're just playing around, going to the gym, just doing whatever lifts you want to do that you see on TikTok or whatever, you're not going to make any progress. You want to have a specific program um, to do every single week and you need to be training with lots of intention. That's also, of course, going to go along with your diet, but in the training aspect, that's pretty much it. Of course, there's a bunch of other complicated delt exercises you can do out there, but these are just a few of my personal favorite ones and I've, that I've always done and they really, really worked for me. If you need any programs, you guys can go to my link in the description and I'll offer both a powerlifting program to try to get you strong and another one, a bodybuilding program, to try to get you big. Um, if not, you guys can probably find some free programs out there on the internet. I really recommend to at least try to get on some type of programming. It's gonna help you a lot. Or get a coach, that's gonna help you a lot also. If you're interested in me coaching you, you can just DM me on Instagram 
Also link in the description and then just DM me coach and then I'll get back to you and get started. All right guys, so now I'm probably just gonna chill out for a little bit, um, meet up with my friends, make our skit, and then I'm gonna head to the gym for my bench day. So let's go.